Welcome back to the News Hub. I'm Rolf Winkler. Well, it was over, but then it wasn't. Chicago teachers voted to continue their strike after coming close to an agreement with Mayor Rahm Emanuel over the weekend. Stephanie Banchero in Chicago joins us with details. Stephanie, this was supposed to be over. What happened? Yeah. Well, um, for the last couple of days, everybody's been saying it. The end is near. The end is near. Kids will be back in school on Monday. But the union leadership brought the uh, tentative agreement to their House of Delegates, which is sort of their governing body, brought it to them yesterday afternoon and asked them to call off the strike once seeing the document. And the de delegates pretty overwhelmingly voted not to end the strike. They wanted another day to look over the contract. What, what are the sticky issues here remaining? Well, that's interesting because um, that will have a lot to do with what Rahm Emanuel is suing over. What the union has said publicly is the two things they are very um, upset about is teacher evaluations, how they're going to rate teachers and lay off the low performers or get rid of the low performers. And what we know with teacher recall rights, meaning if there's openings in the school district, who has a right to those jobs? That's what the teachers have said are the biggest sticking points. But Rahm Emanuel said last night he'll file a lawsuit today to, get, to force them back into class saying you can't strike over those two issues. You can only strike over pay and benefits. So, ballpark, when do the teachers get back into the classroom? Well, it's a good question. I mean, Karen Lewis, who's the head of the um, Chicago Teachers Union, said the earliest would be Wednesday. The delegates, um, the governing body, is scheduled to meet tomorrow. They could vote again. They probably will vote again on whether or not to go back to class. So the earliest will be Wednesday. Now, the issue here is going to be parents. I mean, for the first week, it seemed parents were behind the teachers. Anywhere from 50 to 66 percent of parents supported the strike, depending upon which poll you looked at. But as it wears on and parents, you know, have no place to send their kids or scramble for daycare, sort of the support for teachers might wane um, and that might um, maybe prod them a little bit to get themselves back into the classroom. Who is really poised to come out on top here? Do the teachers, it seemed like, as you said, the teachers did have a lot of leverage, but maybe not so much? Yeah, well, last week it seemed like they did. I mean, you know, the strike is the ultimate weapon. Uh, you go out on strike and it really forces the mayor into a corner. And Mayor Emanuel has given up quite a few things that he didn't want to give up in the first place. He's he's conceded quite a bit to the teachers. Um, so who comes to that on top? I think it's going to depend upon when they get back in school. If it's out the rest of the week, I think teachers are going to start losing support very rapidly. What? If they're back in by Wednesday, I don't know. It could be a draw. Briefly, just tell us some of the details where, where Mayor Emanuel has, has really conceded a lot to the teachers. Well, he initially wanted to evaluate teachers by um, set 40 percent of their evaluation based on student test scores. The union forced it down to 30 percent, which is already governed by state law anyway. So he didn't he sort of lost on that one, although he claims he can bump it up later. Also on sort of what happens with laid off teachers, Chicago is planning to close a lot of schools. What happens to all those laid off teachers right now in Chicago? They have no rights to jobs. Mayor Emanuel conceded to give them at least some did some um, right to those jobs. Great. Stephanie, thank you so much for joining us this morning.